Where's the joint, Ray? Oh, okay. I'm about to light it if you want to smoke. If you're in here, drop a comment. Let me know you're in the room. Uh, share the video one time. Give this video a like. You and I go. We got the OG Tom Cat in the motherfucking building where he's about to join us. And uh, <coughs> <coughs> hopefully he can find his way. Oh, that nigga said he can't find it. Tomcat, all you gotta do is join, bro. Let me see. Let me see if I can find you. I got you. All right, we're adding Tomcat. There you go, I'm adding you, bro. Yo, 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 what it is? What up, what up? What's up, baby? I know if it ain't no hustle, if it ain't more hustle, it's a slow hustle and probably no hustle. You feel me? You know what it is. You know what it is. We're gonna go jump in the truck, put you in the banging system on somebody. No, no, don't don't turn the system on though. Don't turn the system on. Oh, I won't. I know we're doing energy. I just like sitting in the truck though. You feel me? We, hey, that motherfucker, I just like sitting there, bitch. You hear me? Hell yeah. Where you at right now? 45 and 10, we're on the outside, bitch. Mm. Where you at? H-Town, H-Town. I know, but where? Now, I know you in H-Town. I, I ain't, trying, right? to, I ain't, I ain't hey, trying to put my, my location out there like that. What's that? I'm at a top secret location. I think I know where you at, though. Hey, hey, I think I might pull up. No, I'm at the dope house right now. You see me? See okay, that? I see you behind you. But hey, I know one thing about Mo. You the type of motherfucker that will, that will, uh, that will make the make the motherfucking uh any place look like the dope house. Ah, uh, this nigga is crazy. <clears throat> what you got going, bro? Shoot, nothing. Just out here with that boy Mike D. Oh, man, how Mike D, you, what up? What up, man? Oh, baby. Yeah, we out here. Hey, me and Mike D working on some music and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, now I, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things. Uh, um, you know, I hey, want to do a little. Can I say something real quick though? Way to go, yeah, Mo. Yeah. Way to go, Mo. You supposed to be on that nigga ass. You supposed to stand in your nigga place, man. What you supposed to do? Way to go, my nigga. What you talking about, man? What you talking about you know, over there? I'm talking about what everybody else talking about. Get on their motherfucking ass. Fuck them boys. You hear me? Uh, <laughs> I said that shit too, nigga. Fuck them niggas. Feel you, I feel you. They, hey, they, I know that. I know. I know. I know. Uh, H town and no fly zone for them niggas. You feel? <laughs> me? Yeah. I already know. Them niggas don't even know they come down here. Fuck around, get touched. They ain't got to come down here. They fuck around, get touched on out there, man. Fuck around with them mm -hmm. niggas, man. Man, they want that negative attention. That's all it is, man. But shit, they gonna fuck around and get that there. Promise you. Yeah, we got a lot of calls about that shit. Man, it is like this, man. Shit, but it, but it had to be exposed, man. You know what I'm saying? It had to be exposed. Hey, you can't just sit here and just keep talking about some shit you don't know nothing about. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And 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 think one of these nigga niggas ain't finna say something to you about it. Like like I'm nigga fuck nigga ain't worried about no motherfucking image. Nigga ain't worried about no no motherfucking backlash. Nigga ain't worried about no anything like that. Nigga, he's talking about what you talking about about my partner type shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's what, that's what's up. That what's up to me. That's what I'm saying. And I say it out here for everybody here. Nigga, fuck that, fuck that nigga. And I'm riding with my nigga and my niggas. Yeah. On my mom. Hey, on my mama. Shit. I, I'll touch on them, nigga. Shit. But ask them boy about me. <clears throat> Let's give some shout outs, man. Uh, Anthony from Moneyland. What's good? Oh, big Who money. Else Who else is what's up, up in here? Drop, drop a comment. What's let us know where you at. Make sure to like this video. Anthony, share this for us one time. Uh, whoever's on, the on it, baby. Yep, yep. But yeah, man. Uh, so we in here with the OG Tom Cat. Um, uh, for some of y'all don't know, he he was on the road with Lucky for how about how many years he was on the road with Lucky? Fifteen. 
15 or more. Who have been on the road for a minute. She got to though. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Well, I mean, I had a, I had a, now when I say 15, five, I did have a, that little five year break. You feel me? No. Indeed, I was. I was, uh, I was in the penitentiary. <coughs> How was it in the penitentiary, man? It wasn't too bad once you get acclimated to where you at, you know what I'm saying? Know how to move. Once you got right. that down, shit, it ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? Get with who <coughs> for jump in the car with who you riding with and then fucking let, let go. You know what I mean? You got to watch how, how niggas move all the time because this motherfucker is fucked off in there. You know what I'm saying? The niggas is all the way out of line. And then you got motherfuckers that when you walk, when you riding the right way, you just you know how to walk. You know what I'm saying? So, um... At, at what age did you meet Lucky Luciano, or around what 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 year did you meet Lucky Luciano? Let's say like about two thousand and three or four. Three or four. Right, for, right, for Lo, right, right about when Los went in. Right, right, right before that. How did you meet him? Uh, okay, so man, I can't tell that story all the way, but um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cause it was you, all right. Well, let me tell you. Fuck, I'm gangster about it. Fuck it, nigga. Uh, so. When I feel like I'm getting hoed by a motherfucker, man, I'm going to be sure it's known that I ain't getting hoed. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga kept fucking me about this music. I done recorded a bunch of shit at the studio, and he supposed to be, he supposed to be fucking, um, he supposed to be like, um, what you call it, um, handling my music for me. You know what I'm saying? He just want, he, I'm recording his studio because he, he want me around him type shit. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, he recorded my shit and he started getting lazy and shit on it. Like he wouldn't show up at the studio on time with my shit and he wouldn't have my shit ready for the show. Or one time he came and he didn't even show up, started ignoring my calls and all that other shit, nigga. And I was like, all right, that one I had had enough. So I decided he didn't want to give me my music. I'm going to go in there and get my music. You feel me? Yeah. So I went in and got my music. You did? And when I was getting my music, there was this nice little issue right there that I had to pick that bitch up too. You feel me? So I didn't know how to use that issue. I ain't, I ain't that, I ain't that uh, up to date on that, on the musical part. I just rap good in the motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah. So none of us could use it in my little squad. So um, so um, me, me and my niggas couldn't use it. So I was like, what are we gonna do with it? Cause I don't want it no more. I don't want it right here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, somebody know the issue? Issue might be not. They looking for that one. You feel me? So I was like. What we gonna do? And I was like, man, shit. What y'all think about trading this motherfucker for for a feature or something? Cause look, one thing I know to get some fans, to gain fans. Look, for all you uh, just starting out rappers out there, let me gonna give you a, a piece of the game, gonna save you a lot of time. Buy a feature, man. Spend some money on a feature. I know you rap good as them niggas, and you shouldn't have to pay the rap fee, nigga. But you ain't doing that. You paying to gain you some fans, nigga. That's what it is. Cause that everybody looking for motherfucking uh. For motherfucking Paul Wall or Lucky right now, and they don't even know who the fuck we was. You feel me? So I was like, you want to get some fans? You got to go where the fans at. Get a fish with a nigga with some fans. So that's what I did. I called him up. I called him up. As a matter of fact, I hit a bunch of rappers up, a whole list of them. And he was the first one that I didn't know who he was. You know what I'm saying? My partners knew who he was. They was, fan, they was Lucky fans. You know what I'm saying? I had never heard of him. And, uh, and I was like, who the fuck is this? And they played a couple few songs for me. And I was like, okay, I fuck with this shit. So yeah. hit him up. And this motherfucker replied back like instant. Um, I told him what it was. He was like, well, let me check it out. So me and my partner scraped together with a little money we had. We bought a nigga mama car and jumped six deep in the jelly bean tours and shot the H-Town with this thing hanging out the side window. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now, at this point in time, Lucky was living... He lived on Stage Street over there by Westheimer, you know what I'm saying, in the condo. So uh, we had pulled in, and, man, this place was fucking big and shit. We never been no shit like this. And we jump out. We've been in the car for two and a half hours, crammed up six deep in a fucking tourist because nobody want to stay back. Everybody want to see motherfucking luck. What's Man, I see you. I see you, Skitty. What's up, baby? Hey, what's up, y'all? I see y'all out there. Um, so... Anyway, we get there, man, this little nigga, I hit him up, I'm like, say, man, we sure. So he come out to the front, he come out wearing his little Gucci shoes and shit like that, and when he seen us, he took like a slower step. He was like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, we good. So he was like, hey, you Tom Cat, he met everybody, how, how y'all doing? He said, you Tom Cat, let me holler at you real quick. We stepped to the side, had a conversation, and it was basically like this. Look, I ain't letting all you niggas in my house. You come, is what he tell me. 
And I tell this nigga, I don't know you niggas, and I ain't <laughs> going to go up there without one of my niggas. So he was like, all right, one nigga. And I was like, all right, one nigga. So I picked the one I wanted. You know what I'm saying? We grabbed the issue up the stairs. When we walked in the fucking uh, lobby of this place, Mo, there was a white man playing a piano, my nigga, on marble flows. I was like, what the fuck? You know, it's like some real, 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 you know what I'm saying? It was, it was on shit. I ain't never seen no shit like this. So in this condo building, the higher up the floors go, the bigger and the better the apartments get. 17 floors was the condo. This nigga live on the 16th floor. Yeah. And when we get up there, we go down, open the door, and I was like, holy shit, nigga. Um, he had a big ass fucking long table right here with, with one, one of our partners sitting at the end of that bitch breaking up big weeds, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, he stand over here, he yelled out to the back, somebody came back from the back, grabbed the issue and took it back just to be sure it was only good, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, uh, and so, while they was doing that, we was sitting there and, you know what I'm saying? Like he had music playing shit like this and then this fucking white bitch walks out the motherfucking, e, uh, bedroom wearing hardly nothing. Bad dog, I'm talking about big old fake titties, and I was like, man, hold up, I like this nigga. You feel me? I like this nigga. And uh, so he, she come out, she post up, she she being all happy and friendly and shit. And he was like, so y'all drank? I was like, no, nah, I don't drink no alcohol. He said, no, nah, none no alcohol. He said, man, some drink. I was like, oh yeah, I fuck around. This nigga pulled up some thick cups, you know what I'm saying? OG purple, motherfucking screw in a sprite, nigga. Come on, you, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So we was doing that, and then this nigga was like, we say, y'all fuck with the weed? We was like, yeah, we fuck with the weed. And then he said, hey, the old boy, roll up some weed. He rolled up some weed. We jammed, chopping shit. And he said, say, y'all nigga fuck that powder? I said, yeah, I fuck that powder. He said, hook him up. He laughed the line. We all said, you know what I'm saying? And then that's when it changed. From being all like that to being like fucking nigga, watch this shit. Lucky take off rapping. Freestyling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm listening to this nigga for a minute. I'm like, all right, nigga got some, but watch this here. Ah. And this nigga was like, so me and Lucky ended up, my partner who is who rapped too, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even jump in on the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck you mean? He was like a starstruck or some shit. So me and Lucky just kept rapping. So there was like, Lucky had a bunch of people in that house, man. It was like fucking, people start coming out from the back, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, there was a room full, damn near, you know what I'm saying? And we were rapping like a motherfucker, and uh, uh, as we get done, oh, we start rapping, when old boy come back with the, with the word on the issue, did everything with gravy, and he, so he was like, what you want? I said, man, that's what I want is, give me give me about three or four features and just host a mixtape for me. He said, bet, that was the deal. That's all I want. I didn't want no money, no none of that. So after he had just heard me rapping, he was like, so, uh, what, uh, what y'all finna do? Uh, you mean just sit around? I was like, nah, man, I ain't leaving without my, I'm gonna have, I need them verses, you know, before I leave, man. You know what I'm saying? Get in there and knock at least two or three of my, you know what I'm talking about? And <coughs> yeah. he was like, he was like, he was like, yeah, um, uh, all right, well, I'll tell you what, you just chill here. We're gonna, um, your partners can go do whatever they wanna do. And da, da, da. I was like, um, but see, we only had enough money for gas here and home and maybe a couple, some couple items each off the dollar menu is how we were living right then. You feel me? So, um, he was like, I was like, man, I'll like, be 1000 with you, man. I ain't got no bread like that, man. He's like, well, look, here, i tell you what. You do a feature on one of my songs, and I, I'm going to give you $400. I said, all right, bet, for sure. Good deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, for me that then, because, man, I was selling verses for $50. You hear me? This nigga gave me 400 Come on, baby. So, I told my partners, hey, this is what it is. Here's some money. You know what I'm saying? Go get a hotel room, and, and y'all go to the strip club. You know what I'm saying? And so everybody leave except for me and the one partner. And um, fucking they go get the room. So I had $200 left in my pocket, right? I gave them $100 to go to the strip club on and $100 for the room. So yeah. now we in that bitch, and me and Lucky, we rapping all night. But see, when we got done rapping, all the tracks, he didn't want to let me have them. Taylor, nah, 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 we're going to put this on my shit. Nah, 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 we're going to put this on my shit. And I was like, nigga, I need them verses, man. He's like, look, look, I'm going to pay you for every one of these. I said, oh, okay. How much? He said, well, I ain't going to give you $400 for each of them. I was like, he said, I'm going to get three or four of them. And, and so I'm, when I tell you, we, we knocked music out like it was, I mean, come on. I, I mean, stupid fast. 
like writing it. When you're around a nigga like Lucky to, to do that, you know what I'm saying? Man, you got to keep up, you know what I'm saying? And that plus the cocaine and shit, you know what I'm saying? So uh, when he ended up keeping all them, but, man, I made like $2,400, you know what I'm saying? And Luck didn't want me to uh, didn't want me to leave. He was like, look, you just going to chill here? And I was like, nah, nigga, I got a job, man. I work at a car lot. You feel me? I'm selling cars right now. I got to get to work. He was like, man, look, I just need you to stay here. We're going to get this yo shit knocked out first. I was like, nigga, I ain't got no clothes. Yeah. He's like, man. He's like, well, man, I got you. Don't worry about it. I was like, man, fuck. So I called my baby mama up, and I was like, bitch, I just made $2,000 off this little Mexican, and he want me to stay and keep rapping. And she was like, she was like, stay. <laughs> Like, my, boy hey, said I'm my little Mexican, man. Hey, that's my little, hey, that's my little Mexican right there. <clears throat> that's what's up. So I sent my nigga back home with enough money to get my baby mama, so she wasn't tripping. Yeah. To have money for them to get home and have some shit and a little bit of money each when we got back, cause we got rid of the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I split, I broke down with them, even though it was yeah. just a little rap money. I didn't give a fuck. We, I broke bread with them. That's what you supposed to do with your people. You don't want to go down there and you the only one get fed, you know what I'm saying? Right. So so me and my niggas ate that day. And um, I just told him, be sure to have enough money. Come back and get me, right? So I stayed up yeah. there. And, and man, luck take me fucking shopping. I'm talking about, nigga, we went to uh, Giovanni's over there in Greens Point. Yeah. And Maurice's too. I'm talking about, nigga, we, we buy more gators. And I'm talking about all kind of shit. Nigga, I ain't never even heard of this shit before. I'm from the country, you feel me? So I get all this shit with you see nigga like that. And and I was fresh in the peppermint. So I ended up going home a couple months uh a couple months later. Um he called me down to do a vid he wanted me to be in his video. I was like, all right, cool. So I show up we it was that verse enough this. Oh shit. It was that verse enough this. So you know what I'm saying? We uh we, we rolled up to that nigga house and did two takes over there. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn nigga, you ain't got no guns or nothing either. This nigga was like, we don't need no guns. You said big nigga in that blue shirt? He said, his only job is to knock a motherfucker out. If, he, if that nigga come outside, that nigga gonna drop him on camera. Man, I didn't drop the sweet nigga. Man, fuck. God damn it. Sorry, man, sorry. Yeah, I got a bad addition. Bang. That's how you know a nigga real smoke weed and drop that shit in there. So yeah, that's how that's how I met Lucky, man. Fucking crazy ass story, man. And man, in the meantime, between them, this nigga did some wild shit, nigga. So I really like the nigga. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of really good, and we compliment each other good on the microphone too. I feel like that anyway. <laughs> Say so why we can't play no music, man. This nigga. This nigga Paperboy fucking with me, dog. Paperboy. <laughs> hey, nigga, quit hang ganging that nigga right now. Let this man get his interview with me. <laughs> Fuck ass nigga. <laughs> hey. Paperboy. Hey. You you real you reliable motherfucker. You know that? <laughs> oh, man. My bad, y'all. My bad. Oh my hey, god. Hey, somebody just said something. Who is Paper Boy is fucking with me on the side, man, over here? I know he is, man. That's that what he do. <laughs> Paper Boy, what you ain't gonna get on here and talk shit to me, man? That's what ain't gonna get on, dog. That nigga Hollywood in a bitch. <laughs> he said I gotta get a thousand subscribers first before he comes on. <laughs> a thousand subscribers? Yeah. Fuck yeah. ass nigga, man. <laughs> yeah, but I'm almost I'm almost I'm I'm almost at a thousand subscribers on, on uh YouTube, man, I'm waiting. Now nah, um, we don't get that, Dad. You tell me what it is. We're gonna, we're gonna make that shit shake today. <clears throat> no, no, yeah, I'm like at 870 right now. Oh, we like, can knock that out. Oh, within like two we weeks, get, bro. Like, you know, uh, YouTube, bro. Um, <laughs> Who is yeah. Selena? Who is this person, Selena, right here? Salute. I'm going to need you one of my rosaries. Okay, that's what's up. Who is that, though? <laughs> Cause she said in Burke, I know where Burke is. That's in East Texas, where I'm from. She's talking about no, a leaning no, ass taco truck. She's talking, about, she's talking about out there in New Mexico, Burke. Oh, that's New Mexico, Burke? Yeah, New Mexico, Al Albuquerque. Okay. That, Albuquerque. That's Albuquerque. 
You ain't ever go to Albuquerque? I have been to Albuquerque. Uh, I know you had, you had hey, to. It was a, hey, it was a gangsta-ass place, too, man. They shot up a whole goddamn uh, lowrider show when I was there. Oh, yeah, they don't play out there. It's the homies I out there. I got the fuck out of there. I ain't never been back, neither. It was it was hot that day. Uh, We was outside in, in that motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? And fucking, them niggas went to busting that thing. I said, nah, I've got to get away from this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I like the old Mexicans. I don't like the new Mexicans as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, my dear old Mexican. Right? <laughs> you know, I got a matter, matter of fact, I can't even say that. I'm gonna have to pull Mexican, my D Mexican card, man. <laughs> I told this nigga you ain't watched the soccer game today. You know what this nigga told me? Huh. I don't watch no soccer. I said, what? <laughs> 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 oh, I got my, look, I got a Mexico jersey, home jersey with my fucking name and my own number on it. You feel me? Me and hey, Rolly. You hear me? So, I be trying to tell people, Tom Cat, one of the flyers, motherfucking talking motherfuckers I know, right? So, you know, uh, what do you think about Charleston White saying fuck Mexicans and fuck the Mexican kids in Uvalde and all that? <clears throat> I think fuck Charleston White. They're going to kill that nigga soon anyway. <laughs> That's what I think about. That, yeah, he, yeah. He, he, do, he doing way too much. He, he really cloud chasing. He's so tough. He don't realize that they're going to get him. You can't do that shit, Charleston. You dumb motherfucker. <laughs> you should have quit when you was there. You should have got got enough fans where you could have done something else, switched it real quick on them boys, and then high five Donald Trump and got the fuck out of here with some money, nigga, with the bag and your life. Now you dead yeah. as fuck, and everybody want to beat you up. Everybody. I do crazy I though. Man. I don't know one nigga that don't want to put me. You feel me? But he's but doing he, that to himself though, you know. That's what he's looking for. He think, yeah. see, look, you got to realize, man, some people, people don't think like we think, Mo. So some people, I mean, we don't even think alike. It, I mean, we think similar, but then that's why we find us. Everyone but we don't got think alike. Money, you know what I mean? So, so what this nigga thinking is, this is what, he's a motherfucker that ain't never had no attention. Ain't no one ever gave a fuck to hear his opinion or none of this shit. And this nigga lucked up and had one of these fuck ass niggas he talking about say some shit back. That's all they had to do. And that's why they say, I ain't going to say your name, bitch, because I can make you famous. You feel me? Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Somebody said that nigga name and <clears> made that <throat> nigga famous. And when a nigga that ain't never had shit, ain't never been shit, ain't never going to be shit, become somebody getting some attention and people want to talk to him that's listening at you, you think, uh, then what your dumb ass do is don't realize that, okay, you know, I might be saying some disrespectful shit to some motherfuckers that don't like being disrespected. Because look, I done been I done been to the thing, you know what I'm saying? And bitch, anybody can get touched, nigga, all the way up. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker's in, out there, they, 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 they in that bitch and fucking niggas off for way less than that type of shit. Say, go in there, go in that bitch. Go, nigga, go take one shit down there and jump on the table and say, fuck you Mexicans and, 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 and shit I like bet, that. I and, bet he won't do that. I bet he won't. If, he wouldn't. If he did, he would be poked the fuck up. Then he'd be leaned the fuck out, leaking everywhere. Everybody, even the white boys would jump in on that shit. You feel me? He wouldn't have even the white other eye he got left. Huh? I said he wouldn't have the other, the last eye he got left. Oh, you know, because he's missing one eyeball. You know that, right? It's over with. It's over. Now, they'd have done him bad. They'd, they'd put one of them fucking 280-pound muscle up punks on that nigga. You feel me? They don't fuck that nigga for it. The Mexicans fuck like, like, But had that nigga fuck. Be like, look, 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 Charleston, I got your eyeball. Hey, listen, listen, you want to hear some fucked up shit, Mo? These look, motherfuckers. Look, Charleston, I got your eyeball. Hey, hey, when when these motherfuckers want want you to want to get you, nigga, they don't come out there to, to really. When you don't fucked up, they don't send down somebody to kill you. They send that big ass muscle up punk to beat you the fuck up and fuck you. Yeah. That's the only kind of prison rape going out. You know what I'm saying? It's the one because it's intentional. Punching you motherfuckers in the face and then fucking your butt off because you done did some outlaw yeah. shit. Damn, that's that's reality, man. though, man. I've been in a fucked up place. But a nigga like that would definitely... They a, nigga, a nigga that would go that far would definitely come look at some white skinny ass. Do you think that they would make them hold, his, hold, hold their pocket and shit and walk around with Hell them? no. Nah, he wouldn't even be able to walk. It's over with. You jump yeah. on that table and say, fuck them Mexicans, you're, it's over with. You were in PC, yeah. not going nowhere, stuck like Chuck. Fucked. Because you can't go nowhere. Them, you know how many Mexicans is in prison down here? Yeah. Mo Hussle. That's what that's what it is. He better not ever yeah. fuck go to prison. Huh? Not hey, even it, used to, it, prison. it used to be the black folks was the most uh people in it. Now nah, man, them Mexicans are double, triple that. 
They beat these motherfuckers out, think, man. That, do you think it's that crazy. the blacks in prison will, will, will back them up? Do you think what? Do you think that the blacks in prison will back them up after all the shit he be talking? No. No. Nope. He's going to have to pay Because the, the first thing, the first thing that's going to happen when he jump up on the table and say that shit about the Mexicans is them black niggas better beat him the fuck up faster than the Mexicans can get to him. Oh, is he going to be, that is the term, the Cali, the Cali term, PC. He's going he's gonna to be in that PC. Yeah. That, yeah, or either that or he's gonna be a hoe. That's it. Two choices. You you need to go into a cell where you're gonna have to live without any entertainment other than a book they bring you once every six months that has missed half the pages and you have to read that one fucking book and look let at this me, goddamn let wall. Ask, let me ask you a question. Uh, after all the years riding with Lucky and the dope house and all that shit, um, <clears throat> How much love had a Mexican shown you? Out of love, man. Fuck you mean? What is hey, one of the hey. crazy stories where it really hit you, like all the support and the love that's out there? Like, what was the one time that that really got you and you 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 really felt that shit? Man, that's tough, cause man, I feel every one of them, man. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But but just I mean, one that, that that you know off top that you can share the okay, story. Okay, so check this out. So this happened. I I tell you one that happened when when it, when I was at one of your things. Okay, so you remember when you you had you just had that thing that uh that video with it had the bazaar, it had K Reno, it got uh Sheed in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's, yeah. And Sebastian, that song. What's it mm -hmm. called? Uh, anxiety. Yeah. That song. So remember we was at that video, right? So you yeah. know the nigga that shoot, shot that video, right? Right. Season Asia. So yeah, after this, man, song, like, yeah. like. I had met him a long, long time ago, or like in 2013, 14, 15, 16, around in that area. I don't know, drugs had my my years running much together. But um, me and Lucky went out there, and, you know, we went to a studio. I remember going to his house because the fucking stairs down into the basement where the studio is were so fucking steep, nigga. It was, I'm, I'm sure that motherfucker has claimed many of a leg. You know what I'm saying? It's damn near a straight drop to go down this bitch and the stairs is skinny as fuck you know what I'm saying yeah. so but we go down there you know what I'm saying and he, he tells me because he said something to me that I didn't remember he's like man you you, you just you just blessed my my uh people game and did a hook for him and I was like what and he actually pulled the song up on YouTube I don't I hadn't I didn't even remember doing it my nigga no, but it was sure. me and and I mean but that's how it was just we, I've been I've done that for so many people when we was out in different cities that's what we do you know what I'm saying? We try to get with the people out there that's trying to do the music and try to put some money in our pocket. Right. So, um, this is one of them occasions. So, it wasn't just something that just stood out to me, though. But I do remember the dude, though. You know what I'm saying? I remember the house more than the, I remember the dude because of the stairs. Anyways, so, um, we, we go to the strip club after the, the thing. He want to hang out and shit. So, we go to the strip club. And, um, we're sitting there, and as we went to leave this motherfucker, man, he, this dude stops me. He starts, he's talking about, you know what I'm saying, like, like how much, how thankful he is that I came to his shit that long ago because that's what gave him the confidence and, the, and made him believe that he could do whatever the fuck he want to do, you know what I'm saying, and did his shit. And that nigga working for motherfucking, um, what's that Mexican uh, TV uh, channel, um, Univision or? Uh, um, yeah, 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 he's the camera. Telemundo, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so that what he, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I was like, I was like, hold up, don't don't say anything more. And I stopped and I put my camera on. I said, now say whatever you got to say. What you was telling me, what were you was talking about? And this nigga said some real shit that really fucked with me, dog. And he had like almost cried. You could see the emotion in this nigga face when I watched the video. I'll send you the video and let you see it. He tells me, he's like, he's like, man, um, he's like, yeah, man, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm in H-Town, you know, I'm back here, man. I'm with Tomcat again, man. It's like destiny that we're here. And like, you know, this many years ago, Tom said they come to my spot, him and Lucky, you know what I'm saying? And they come down there and they was just like, they was like, man, they was just, it was crazy. And you made me feel like so, he's like, I couldn't believe y'all were in my house. And now, when I tell you this, Mo, I'm a normal ass, broke ass. I'm not no, I'm not what a motherfucker might think a rapper would be living like. That's not me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here, I'm, I'm in these streets, I'm motherfucking all over. I'm doing life, you feel me? I got normal people shit going on all day, every day with me. I don't see myself as anything other than a, than a normal-ass real nigga, you feel me? Right. But 
it's not that. It what fucked me up was that it's not my perception. That it's somebody else's perception how other people see you. You don't even pay attention to a lot of times. And to the way this nigga seen me was like, I don't know, because I don't really have anybody that I look at like that. But it's like, you know what I'm saying. He was like, a, a, what's up? Hey, what's up, 4-5? Uh, I see you, baby. So, um, 45, what's good, man? I'm going to get you on one of these, too. Shit, I might even um, uh, might even let, let you tap in right here. Right you can let that I'm nigga gonna... join this one. My, hey, you can let that nigga join in this one. That's my nigga right there. It, it won't, it won't uh, let, let more than two people join in, so I'll wait for a minute. And we'll, we'll when, once uh, you exit, then we'll bring him in, and I can do it like that. All right, all right, all right that nigga, he, that nigga, yeah, he, he broke by. My nigga, hurry up. What's good, cuz oh? Hey, good. there you go. Shout out my nigga E45, nigga. He out here hot doing it out here in the city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, E45, he got something. That's my connected, nigga, though. Connected, my nigga. Hey, you know, you know, you know why, why I like that nigga so much, why I like E45? Because he don't, he don't let nobody stop him. He gonna oh, show yeah, he up. Gonna, he gonna yeah, show up. Yeah. He gonna show up. My nigga gonna show up. You know what I'm saying? He gonna show up. And you know what I'm saying? And you gonna tell you what? I, it, the way I feel about that, I'm the coldest freestyle rapper on the fucking planet. Yeah. That's how I feel about me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, hey, bust a freestyle right now. Bust a freestyle right now. Bust that nigga no, blast, You know I don't trip. <laughs> on I the break spot. Them boys off, I fix the whole lip. I tell the nigga Capone, he need to get the fuck on. I pull that damn pack clack and it's chrome. See it in the nighttime. Shining, yeah, it's bright time. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to shine like the light line. I mean the limelight. I'm going hard in my rhyme tight. Them boys are like, that nigga don't give a fuck. He fight. Every time he go to the club, he drunk at night. And be fucked up swinging the verb and I'm looking right. I got that H-Town jersey on my chest tonight. I got that number four. We out the four-four. Break them boys off like them hoes they ain't no. Chilling with Mike D. Talking about Mike Deasy. Rapping shit this easy. Break them off the heezy, off the head, off the dome. Mo hustle riding on chrome. Coming through the bitch, talking, talking on the phone. I'm in the camera, bad mama jamma. I done came out this show in Alabama. Bitch, I'm a baller, a shot caller. I'm a fuck a bitch two times, never even call her. Bitch, I was a player from the Himalaya, a dope brown sailor and an AK sprayer. Bitch, I go fed. Break them boys off, fuck with blue and the red. Out that homestead. Talk to four foes. I done came through this bitch tipping four foes. Man, don't make me do it to him, man. I can do this all night. I got you, man. I got you. I can do this shit all night, Mo. You, Mo, you know I'm not to say man. You know I do this shit all night. You know I do this yeah, shit yeah, all I'm going to get, I'm gonna have to get E45 on this bitch next going in. Hey, get him in. Because, hey, I'm going to tell you, and I was just going to say, the way I feel about it is, I feel like he is one of the people that can fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? He, he one of them, he, he can fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like yes. I like it when we had a spot and we run into each other and, and one of us got the microphone. He respect my my uh my my freestyle and I respect his. And every time yeah. I got a mic, the next nigga I'm looking to pass it to in that club is four five. You feel me? Yeah. He do the same thing with me. It ain't never it ain't never a place like just the other night, man. He was doing his set. You know what I'm saying? I just had him be walking through that bitch. I was doing them interviews for um Tech and the Hustle Town Network. You know. And they was like, what, well, grab me, pull me up on the stage, grab, put the microphone in my hand. I'm like, fuck it, I hide with you then. I'm going to ride with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with that nigga. That, that nigga, hey, and I hope that nigga make it. That's one type of nigga that deserve to make it, you feel me? Yeah. My, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, yeah. He, he, you know, one thing I, I, I could, you know, I got to give to him is consistent. He's popping up on people. You know, no matter what it is, no situation or whatever, he, he pops it up. He pops up, you know? So... This consistency. Man, I appreciate that. He, oh. hey, you see what E45 just said? You see, it's that type of shit, what I'm talking about, though. You know what I'm saying? It's this shit. I don't see myself as nothing like that, though. I'm just a nigga that rap good, man, and try to be a good person. You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> but look, man, so uh, so what can they expect in the future from Tomcat? Okay, we, we got the um, we got the Candy Chrome and Leather, the uh, single and the album. And matter of fact, Mo Hustle doing the artwork for that one. Um, so that's where we got that one. I got the Texas 101 jams. I got the radio show jumping where, um, I'm a nigga that don't charge rappers or people to come on the show. And you ain't even got to be a musician to come on my radio show. Nigga, if you are an entrepreneur, whatever you passionate about, come talk about it. I'm going to give you a place you can reach out and let, let, put it out there in the universe and let someone catch it for you. 
You're talking about what you're doing, and you never know what could happen. Yeah. But I'm the one that's going to help you for free. You ain't got to pay me. Open door policy at the motherfucking radio station on my show for show every Thursday night, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Pull up, nigga. We're gonna, if I have to stay there until 4 in the morning to get everybody to show up 10 minutes on the motherfucking air, I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? Tap in, tap in with the time cat, man. So, so uh, I got that. And hey, and listen, I got anything, Mo Hustle, anything that you, that where you at or the East End Brew I'm fucking with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And hey, I want to say, you know what I'm saying, in front of you and I say that I'm my mama behind when you ain't there. You my nigga, Mo. I fuck with you, man. Yeah. Long way, long way and strong way. You a real motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? I love and respect you. And paper boy with your motherfucking ass, I love you too, motherfucker. And that boy's in the studio right now. He's in the studio room right Man, now. Man, yeah, you know what's fucked up? You got to go back off in there. Because, listen, I've been telling that motherfucker, hey, crank the studio up for me. Crank it up for me, dude. Nah, I don't ever want to crank it. Nah, I ain't there. nigga. That motherfucker. So he ain't trying to be no producer. Love, love, man. Oh. Love, man. We got my nigga online. Love. Oh, this shit. Look, look how we, we doing. We're going to do a phone-to-phone interview around this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk about that boy. Who is it? Who is it? That boy, Dion. Dion, go see you. I want yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, one We have to make it on the phone like a motherfucker right now. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mo, up, I man. appreciate you asking me to do, do the interview, you know, man. I appreciate it, man. It's all good. It's all good, man. Um, Any, anytime you need hey, anything right here, from me, just let me know, know, man. I got you. No, yeah, man. Let some people know, man. We got that show going on this Sunday. The, uh, truck, the food truck. Yeah. The food truck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. got a lot of motherfuckers coming out to that bitch, too, Mo. Yeah, man, I need everybody to come through, I mean, come this, through this, early. Yeah, yeah, we got a I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? I'll be there. Bring some people I'll... with you, invite some friends and family. It's hey, so, so, is, uh, so what, what, what's the cover out there for that? It's free. free. Oh, don't tell me that, man. Oh, man. I'm going to drag right. everybody. Bring to the public. So, uh, then that, that, now, what, what time of day is that? Because I'm going to let them know on, on my uh, radio show uh, Thursday, too. It's from, it's from noon till 6 p.m. All right, noon to 6 p.m. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, Sunday. Saturday, new- Sunday? Sunday? Okay, okay. November 27th, Sunday. Sunday, November 27th. This Sunday. Food truck with yeah. Mo. This Sunday, food truck with Mo Hustle, yeah, noon o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where it be. Mo. Hey, that's where it's going to be. That's where I'll be. At Club hey, Winter. Hey, you know what? Hey, I got to tell you this too, man. You know, um, I appreciate one thing about you, man. Yeah. It ain't never been one time you ain't tried to share, share the shine with me, my nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't got to be on the fly. I ain't got to do none of that shit. If, if I if, if I, if I want to rap, you always be making that shit happen yeah, for yeah, me. Anywhere we time, at. Man, you know what I'm saying? Know. Not, just, not just your spot. But anywhere we at, you do that for me. I appreciate you, my nigga. Yeah, you I nigga like I'm you, you the same type of motherfucker I am, man. So we finna wrap this shit up. Yeah. Yeah. Salute yeah. that shit. Well, look, man, I'm going to get off of here, but uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, E45, e are you still with us? Yeah, E45 is still with us. He got to be. Where's he at? Yeah, five, where you at? You. you know, there ain't nothing. He, they, hold on, that's that 210. Oh, Philly, that shout out 210. Let's give a couple shout outs. E45. Philly made. Philly made. Okay, can I do some shout outs? Let's see. Man, I want to shout out, man. Okay, there, there go four five. Man, I'm gonna shout out four five. I'm gonna shout out Mike D. I want to shout out uh, K. I want to shout out A One Music Empire, D I A Real. I want to shout out to uh to nigga infamous text out there, man. I want to shout out to Sin. I want to shout out to City Boy. Shout out to Boombox Bravo. I mean the real the, and it, man, shout out our real shout niggas out, out there. Billy, you know what shout saying? out Bill and we fuck with him. S G S C baby all day. You know man, what shout saying? out shout out God, man. You feel me? I appreciate you, God, Jesus, for what y'all done for me. Thank you. Um, and I appreciate I appreciate the niggas that fuck with me, man. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. I appreciate you. I got you, man. Well, I'm out this joint. Uh, where right, can people find you? Where, where can people find you on social media? Uh, Instagram at Tomcat TX, Facebook at Tomcat. Um, yeah, so T O M C A T T X, and then you know Tomcat seventy eight. I was with the seven eight. You feel me? Um, shit. Motherfucking have my phone number. You hear me? Two eight one four three five two three three three. Fucking Kyle, me. Hey, that word. Uh, and and he got them steak and shrimp T-shirts and all that shit, huh? I do. I got the steak. Any steak and shrimp merchandise? I'm where you come get that there. Um, hit me up, man. We we will be sure to, to fulfill the order. <clears throat> um, it takes like six six business days max to get there. I've never seen one go past that. Um, and anytime you see me at one of the shows, I probably got some on me. I got you, bro. 
I right, appreciate man, my name. And I'm about to uh, tune in to Shout out Dope House. Five. Shout I out Rashid. You. Shout out Paperboy G. Shout out Time. Shout out Zone. Shout out Ma. Yeah. Shout out these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right my nigga. Bro. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay on the watch for five though. I got you, I got you. All right, nigga, I love you, man. You got it, big dog. Okay, let me let me add you forty five in. So we're adding him in real quick. Oh man, it says it's unable to join because technical issues. Let's see one more time. Put an ad. I don't know, bro. Uh, it's not letting me add you. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hang up and I'm gonna call you on on the line real quick. You guys, everybody tuned in. Um, we'll be right back. So tune back in. Yeah, it's not letting me add you, bro. Here he goes. Or you can't jump in. There's not a button that you can press to jump in. Shout out Michelle. Shout out Joey. Yo, he says, uh, "What's what's blasting, homie? Let him know, Freedom X. Fuck lazy, lazy dub. It's pony. Okay." I can't seem to get you in, E45. All right, guys. Well, I'm out this joint. I'll be right back, and we're going to be with E45. Give me about a 10-minute break. <laughs> 